Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I am, I'm about to do some stuff for our stress-free Saturday. Don't worry, none of this is happening today. I'm talking stress-free, right? So I was just going through my stash, made some papers. I made these right here. Um, some of these, like I was telling you about placing that acetate on top of a vintage pack of papers that you may have so I just went to my copier and made these papers right here I'm gonna play with that this week I also like superimposed them made them really big so here's another one similar to the previous right so I just stretched it out and made it into like an eight and a half by eleven sheet or it's really an eight by ten right so there's that and um, yeah so I'm just I'm just playing with paper things that I want to um, make things with this coming week maybe and um, into the next weekend so I was just playing with that this was another sheet that I deco collaged and um, yeah I thought it came out really cute I think I'm going to use this in a project as well and then um, my prototype envelope that I made I will probably be doing something with that maybe Monday or Tuesday so look out for this project what I will do okay so I will do it two ways one I will do the prototype envelope so that everyone can have a prototype envelope and then two if you already have like a stack of envelopes you can also do the same project as well so keep your eye out for that go grab your envelopes and get them ready for something really cute um, but today what I think I'm going to do, oh, and I have these. So these are just, um, like little tags that you would probably stitch into, um, something that you've made fabric wise, right? But because we play with paper, let me see if I can find it. Huh. The actual, well, here's the actual packaging. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I did with the actual tags, but here's the packaging for it. It's called Yarnology, and I picked this up probably at Joann's for, it says $3.99 on there. Can you see that? But I'm almost pretty sure I had a coupon, okay? I felt um, that I needed some of these in my stash, and it's basically these little guys that are fabric woven little labels that you would stitch into something that you're... Um, that you create either a sweater or if you're a seamstress maybe a blouse or you know what have you I happen to took <laughs> taken my actual fabric um, woven <laughs> little labels that came out of here which I can't find on my crazy desk right now but I took them over to my printer and I printed them or copied them onto cardstock all right so I just went around and corner punched corner punch the corners with um, my very smallest um, four millimeter corner punch and then inked around the edges so that's what I have going on in this pile right over here okay so I inked them in both um, ground espresso and um, what is that black soot okay <laughs> So yeah, we'll be playing with these as well, maybe with the envelopes come Monday or Tuesday, alright? So for today, it's a very stress-free day, I'm already halfway through the day and I haven't done much and I'm kind of liking it guys, like Saturdays are usually nice and mellow for me, however, I'm going camping Tomorrow, uh, Monday is the Artemis launch from Cape Canaveral so I'm heading out to the coast in about an hour or so so I'm gonna go camping and I'll probably be there for a while so I'm gonna take you guys with me we're all going camping together so <laughs> I'm gonna bring out my whole rig my setup and everything and craft while I'm out there and so you guys are coming with me and what I will try to do if I can't go live uh, during the launch I will definitely record it and give you guys a taste of what we got going on here in Central Florida so for today going through my stash I wanted to make some labels because I know I'll be needing some in the coming days while going through my stash I found this which is 
two identical packs of the same labels. So guess where one of them is going, right? So I believe I've used one. I don't know which one, but one of them is going to go into my pack of um, 500 subscriber giveaway. So that's going to go over there in my in my stash that I have going for the subscriber giveaway. All right. The rest of this I'm going to use to make some labels with I think different colored labels um, you know of course these are silicon polymer stamps so I'll be making some various colored labels worn lipstick I'm gonna pull out picked raspberries I'm gonna pull out my blues faded jeans and salty ocean as well as broken china so I'm gonna pull out all of these colors right here we're going to make some stamps that we can use in our junk journals. Aged mahogany. I'm going to use some different colors this time. Things, colors that you're not used to seeing me using. But I buy stamps, um, labels, I should say, all the time. And, you know, making them is so much easier. Here I have pine needles and peeled paint. So... I have these silicone stamps and let's just play with some stuff and make some stuff. It's such a low stress, stress free Saturday and why, why get all, why get all turned up, right? Um, let's see, Rusty Hinge, another good color to have um, in your stash. And these are just some of the ones that I have readily available to make some things with. So go grab your inks. If you have little um, silicone stamps that make labels, let's do that. That's what I'm planning on doing today because I'll be needing them in the coming weeks. All right, so I'll be right back. Let me grab some paper that I can make these on. Okay, so really quickly, I did went and find those fabric or woven, um, I guess these are like labels or, um, you know, I guess they're like little tags or labels that you would find on the inside of clothing. So yeah, this is made out of fabric or woven threads. And um, I just copied them, guys, onto paper, cardstock, inked around the edges, and now we have something else to play with in our junk journals, right? So I made lots of them. <laughs> I got a little carried away, so I made lots of them on in paper and yet we still have the fabric one so if you were to add this to a junk journal or any project that you're working on it gives a different texture and feel to whatever it is that you're creating so in addition to the paper version we have the fabric version as well so these are just some more that i made i'm going to ink around the edges around the corners and um use them okay so I'm going to set this aside as well. And um, here are my stamps all laid out here. So these are the ones that I will be making uh, labels with. And then I have this pile over here, which is about 10 or 12 um, different um, label stamps. All right. Then I went and grabbed my plain old cardstock. This is craft paper cardstock and white photo paper cardstock so it's matte on one side and photo paper on the other side so what I will do is make labels on the matte side all right and um, my craft paper really simple really low stress day so all I need to do this is a stamping block all right and we're going to use these colors over here so I just want to show you guys what it is that I mean by purchasing labels. Whoops. Um, I'll have to find it before I before we go today. I will find the box of vintage labels that I actually bought, which is I think a waste when you can just make them yourself, right? So and and when you use up all of those labels from that box, then what do you do? So you have to make more I mean or buy more so I'm just going to use what I have here this is distress oxide and pine needle which is a very bright green and should make a really nice label 
so I'm just going to pop this down right here on my paper on the matte side of my cardstock. <laughs> the first one is always a challenge. Ah, let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Like I can do this all day long and not break a sweat. And I will use this in almost every project. Like these are the types of things that you buy from Etsy or um, AliExpress and you know it's just a waste of money because once you've used it all up which I don't get me wrong I love supporting Etsy shops and I'm sure um, you know some of those um, AliExpress items are all very unique in itself but I would prefer to make my own because I can remake them over and over again and it's just so much easier well that corner didn't come out so well but luckily I have a corner uh, hole punch I can punch that out and it won't really matter alright so I'm gonna try a different label in the same color that pine needle it, it's so pretty it's such a like a nice poppy color and should give us like lots to play with yep that happened okay I'm just gonna keep going down the line here whoa I'm <laughs> oh so close I'm also going to try to stay on the page because I'm actually drifting off the page just ever so slightly. So I'm going to try to stay more so on the paper. All right. And I'm just going to keep going. Like if you guys want to hear my banter, I will leave the recording going. But um, yeah, otherwise, if you guys would prefer music, I will probably fast forward this to... Um, just to play some music in the background but for the most part this is what I've got going on again I leave for camping probably in about an hour so I just wanted to spend part of my Saturday with you guys and has anyone started watching that new um, Netflix show called Echoes I just started it. So like I'm I'm on episode one. I'm very much into the um, the murder mysteries and true crime and all those sorts of things. I love, love, love murder mysteries and true crime, but Echo seems to be very like mysterious and I really I just started it. So I mean I'm okay with the spoiler alert. I don't mind. If you guys want to comment down below, if you started watching it, you can, you know, drop spoilers in there. I don't mind. But um, I tend to binge watch anything. So once I start something, I'm not going to stop until I get to the last episode of the last season. Right. So <laughs> that's just just I, I mean, I'm telling you. Netflix and streaming services have changed, revolutionized the way we watch television and I will never ever go back to watching cable TV, even with like fast forwarding commercials and whatnot. I just will never ever pay for cable again. So, but yeah, if you guys have not started watching Echoes, feel free to, um, to start that, um, season with me and if I find out anything, <laughs> I will definitely uh, comment on it during my videos. But yeah, I will probably get through the first season this week or this weekend going into next week if I'm not too busy. But um, yep, I just find it so fascinating. Anyway, I'm going to go on to a new color and I will probably start all over again using these very same stamps in a different color on the same page. Then when I'm ready, I will go on to the next set of stamps in, you know, the same colors or a different color. And then um, 
just keep going on from there so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoy this video stay till the end i may cut some of these out and use some in a project who knows but um yeah enjoy this video
Oh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I guarantee you all of these labels are going to get used in some form or fashion. All of these colors are something that I would put into any one of my junk journals. Even the ones that are double <laughs> stamped where the, the stamping block fell on top of the previous. I will use all of this either in a cluster or collage or somehow um, in one of my projects. Even the ones that are really, really close, if I can, I will cut that out. I have to go clean my fingers. Would you believe that in the process of all of this, we had a downpour of rain? I had some things spray painted on the back porch. I had to run out there and grab it really quickly. So a lot has happened <laughs> since we last spoke about 30 minutes ago. Um, yeah, so all of these stamps are really, really cool, really, really inexpensive to do yourself the only thing that you're really paying for when you purchase a package of stamps is that someone went ahead and cut them out for you some of these have um, sticky backs so they're like little sticker labels but the only benefit of having these versus these are someone took the time or a machine <laughs> let's just be real a machine took the time to cut these out for you and someone ran it through a another machine to put the sticker backing on the backs of them um, I have a sticker making machine it's not as fancy and it's not even really that complicated or or anything um, this is by Zion Zyron um, it's a label making or sticker making machine. I've never used it before. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to cut some of these out and run it through and see what happens. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> and um, once I'm all done, I will cut each and every single one of these out. There's probably about 200 labels here. If you think about it, I would have paid probably maybe seven to ten dollars for a box of these and there probably would have been about 200 labels in that box I can't find the actual box right now but I guarantee you it's no bigger than this right so it's all just jam-packed inside of that box I can't find it it says vintage labels on it but can't find it right now so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out run it through my little sticker making system here I don't want to do this on camera because I'm not sure how this works and I think I threw the box away so, <laughs> so I don't even have the directions I'm gonna have to go watch a YouTube video on how to use this so wish me luck I'll be right back you guys I kid you not this was super simple like I took the biggest uh, label that I had um, one that had overlapped in a few places and I just um, cut it out with my little craft knife right here I'm telling you like this did not take any time or effort whatsoever so let's just see what we got I, I kid you not like I all I did was go to um, <laughs> my little pie right over there grabbed out my craft knife and pulled out this so I'm not sure if I did it on the right side or not because this side seems to be pretty sticky. So let's just see really. Like I could have done it on camera. It was just, it was not difficult at all. So I don't know what I got here, but I'm going to try it and see what we get. I'm just going to cut away the excess along here and here. I mean, if you guys have ever used this Zyron sticker making machine before, please drop me a comment in the <laughs> in the comment section down below. Let me know if I'm even doing this right or if I've if I've epically failed at this, but we're going to find out together right now because I've never used it. It's been sitting there on my desk with the intent on being used. So, whoops. All right, let's see what happened. Okay, so basically I followed the instructions. It said, insert here or insert item, right? So I just stuck this thing right in there. And then on this side, it says pull and tear. I mean, <laughs> rocket science averted. Like, I don't know. It, <laughs> could it be that easy? Let's see what we get. So I'm just going to peel away 
the backing here. I swear, if this is sticky on the other side, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, we just made a label. It's totally sticky back there. We just made a label. Okay, mine blown. Okay, so now all of these will become little stickers. I will never in my life buy another box of these again. Like, I stamped on cardstock. Some of these are paperweight. I get it. Um, I will probably go back and stamp on copyweight paper. Some of them are coffee dyed esque. Like, they look like coffee dyed paper, but they're not. Um, yeah, guys too easy this was just so simple it's a total sticker so yeah I'm doing this all of these will get cut out today I will use every single one of them in my upcoming projects this has just it's a game changer guys like get yourself some silicone oh my glasses get yourself some silicone stamps they will change the way you craft um, so easy so simple so um, inexpensive I think I got I'll put them in a the link down below if they're not already down there I will put all of these in the link in the description box down below and just go grab some at on Amazon or what have you and um, yeah make some labels and then this thing, I think I paid 10 bucks for it at um, Hobby Lobby. Now they have a much bigger machine. Um, I don't know if it's worth it, but you can probably make larger stickers. But this one right here is probably about three inches wide. So here, I'll tell you for sure. Exactly three and a half inches or three and five-eighths of an inch um, or is it five-eighths three-eighths of an inch wide anyway it's just over three inches wide and um, it's by Zyron so I'm not sponsored never used the product before um, don't know um, how much it is but I think I paid ten dollars for this one the much bigger one is probably double that price but it's not a double the size of the label so Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys right here and stop waffling on. I hope you guys give this situation a try. Like, it's totally worth it. I'm going to go clean off my stamps. I hope you guys have a super crafty day. Low stress Saturday. Go do something wonderful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.